Join us for our second day in Sturgis. We did the rides in the Black Hills during the day and went to Sturgis to party at night. Iron Mountain Road, or 16A, is one of the roads we wanted to make sure we got a chance to ride. Here I am at the Norbeck Overlook sign. Iron Mountain Road has a few lookouts and some narrow tunnels like Needles Highway. Here's Barb at the lookout. This lookout is close to Keystone and gives us a great view of Mount Rushmore National Memorial. One of the many switchbacks along this road. Stockade Lake. The lake is closer to Custer and is past the super twisty part of Highway 16A. There are two state park campgrounds at this lake and there is one at Bismarck Lake which is just north. We were here in the morning. There was only a few people in the water and not many people around at all. The beach at Stockade Lake. Crazy Horse Memorial. Another parking lot with bikes as far as the eye could see. We were lucky enough to be here to see this gentleman dance. This is on the bus tour to the base of Crazy Horse. The bus takes the passengers to the base of the mountain, which is much closer than the visitor center. It's a 25 minute round trip and $4 per person. This is what the Crazy Horse Memorial will look like when the carving is completed. We thought this was pretty funny. They even completed it by adding a bikini. Hill City. A good place to stop for lunch. The roads Mystic and Rochford are 16 miles of dirt road. Here's Barb at the Rochford Mall. The other half of the town at the end of the dirt road. They were very welcoming to bikers, even setting up a beer garden, which was much appreciated after the miles of dirt. The sheriff drove by a few times. Our view of the town as we sat back and relaxed. of Deadwood. This is a statue of T.C. Holloway, who among other things, rode in the Deadwood Rodeo many times. Checking out the historic bikes and the art in the art gallery in Deadwood. Some of the cool customs we saw on the street.
saw this sign, of course that means we have to go in and check it out. Here's Paul at the bar. We had a drink and looked at all the historical items around the saloon. It was a tour and a show of Wild Bill's death, but not when we were there. There's the gentleman selling wood carvings. I thought this was the coolest one. Paul with Wild Bill Hillcock. In other things, Deadwood had the reputation for Ladies of the Night. Back in Sturgis. These ladies had a bottle of Jack Daniels each, and they were pouring it down anyone's throat who was brave enough to go up to the stage. We had fun checking out all the bands and dancing. A little bit more mellow at a karaoke bar. Thanks for joining us on our second day in Sturgis and the Black Hills. Please hit like and subscribe, and you'll be notified for our next video.